Hey guys, Loyal here. Today I'm going to be making an updated buy binds video. My last one had some inaccurate information as well as some information which just got broken over time. A lot of it supplied by pro players which is kind of funny. But anyways, I'm just going to go into a new video to remedy this and try to fix all your guys' issues and I again I apologize for the previous problems. Uh, so I'm going to go over two methods. The first is just typing everything in the console. Uh, the second is creating another auto exec which won't, which will actually work this time in the year 2015. Uh, both methods work and it's up to you whether which one you prefer. Some people prefer the auto exec and some people prefer the console commands. So um, I'm going to be using Impulse 101 real quick to give me a lot of money. Uh, to create a buy bind in the console it's really simple. All you have to do is type in the console bind space the key you want. So in this example I use kp underscore enter uh, then space in quotations by space the weapon you want. You can also string weapons together and items together in order to create a full buy if you want. Some people prefer this. Uh, I prefer just having single items so I can customize my layout a little more, but it's really wholly up to you. So I will type M4A1. Well, whoops. Awesome. Accidentally fat fingered tilde by KP underscore enter space by M4A1. Uh, you only have to do M4A1 for both M4s, you don't need to change that. Semicolon by AK-47. Uh, what this does is it buys the primary rifle on both sides. If I'm on T, it'll buy an AK, and if I'm on CT, it'll buy an M4. It will attempt to buy both, but the thing is, when you're on CT, you can't buy an AK, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that's the way to do that. You can also do it with items. Uh, for example, I bound my 5 key on my keypad to buy uh, armor and helmet. I also bound my 4 to only buy a Kevlar. A six to buy a diffuse. I have all my nades bound. I have an op, FAMAS, uh, a P250, a 5.7, and a Deagle. It's an ugly Deagle. So I'll be putting in console links to websites with all the commands, and I'll probably just paste in text all of the uh, keys and all of the items. That way, if in case any websites broke or break like the last one did, you won't have to find one on yourself and it'll just be there since YouTube I don't see shutting down anytime soon. Uh, and secondly, the auto exec. Uh, let me go ahead and quit the game and show that to you. Alright, so we're now on the desktop. What you're going to want to do here is go ahead and navigate to your CSGO folder. Mine's in program files, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Counter, oh, that's Source, Global Offensive, CSGO, and then CFG. Um, and then in here, I just go into Notepad and you can now type your binds into here. Um, I'm just going to type a few example ones, so bind uh, kp underscore enter, like I had before, by m4a1, by ak47, by, and then I'll just go ahead and enter another example, so kp underscore like break, this will be like your break button, or pause or whatever. Actually I'm going to do end, uh, by m4a1, by ak47, by vest helm, that'll buy both your vest and helmet. By diffuser, that'll buy a diffuse kit. And then by flashbang, by flashbang, by Molotov, by ink. I think it's ink grenade. Let me go ahead and double check on that for you. Pretty sure it's that's what it is. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Um. And then buy smoke grenade. So what this bind will do, if I spelled everything correctly, it will buy an M4 or an AK, depending on the side you're on. Buy your armor, buy your diffuse kit if you're a CT, buy two flashbangs, an incendiary grenade, and a smoke. Uh, you can obviously modify this to how you want, but that's an example of stringing things together. Um, and then, pointed, as pointed out by Tane in my comments section, which I greatly appreciate, all you have to type now in order to start it to work phrase that weird host underscore write config uh, this will over this will overwrite your uh, like auto launch options and get it to work uh, you can uh, then save this as I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this put it in here yeah you can go ahead and save this as all files auto exec .cfg. Uh, then save it then what you want to do is you want to go into your properties, your launch options. Um, at the end of whatever your launch options are, these are mine. Um, you will type plus auto exec. 
I've heard that .cfg doesn't work. It used to, so I think that's one of those things that broke. Um, so just type plus autoexec without the cfg this time, and it should work. Um, I'm not going to do this simply because I don't want that to overwrite my current binds, but that's how you do it. Um, hopefully this tutorial actually works, and I appreciate you guys watching this video. Go ahead and uh, subscribe if you're not, and follow all my social media in the description, and I'll be having another YouTube video uploaded later this week. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully this fixed your problems. Bye.